Hi everyone, good morning. Today I'm starting a sort of a pilgrimage. It's a very special day for me as I'm going to Mallorca to the monastery of Valdemosa where Chopin spent the winter of 38-39. He it's a special it was a special place for him. He loved there, he composed there, he created many many masterpieces in that place and most of all he suffered he suffered greatly and tomorrow i will give a concert in this monastery in valdemosa we'll have a wonderful public coming from different countries around the world and i'll play many many of the masterpieces that chopin wrote in that place so it's a very special journey for me but i'm sure it will be very special for you as well as i'm of course taking you with me we'll visit the monastery we'll also visit the cell where chopin lived and composed so let's get ready and let's go So I'm entering the monastery where Chopin and Rosant and the children spent the winter of 39, 38, 39, 18, 38, 18, 39. And we are in the corridor of the monastery. Here you can see already the seats ready for my concert. They put the piano in the corridor to have a little more people um, to be able to listen to my concert. It is a little bit restricted. We still have because of the situation today, we, but we still have around three, four hundred seats. We have here in the corridor and here also in the garden, which is very beautiful. We have some seats here. The people will be able to sit here and listen to music and see the piano a little bit and see me. So this is the garden um, where there was also a goat. Chopin liked very much goat milk. He drank it every day. So he had a goat here in the monastery. Here's the little fountain. And from here, from this spot, you can see the tower of the monastery that we saw from my room before. Uh, I think the sun is a little bit too strong to be able to see it on the camera. So we are going to... Um, I'll show you a little bit more of the garden. Uh, we have some bells, bells of the cathedral. So when Chopin and Jorsand arrived here, it was completely empty. The monks were already sent away by the Spanish government. And they took some of these cells, some of the former monks' cells. And 
they were living here they spent the winter right now it's very beautiful the weather is wonderful but at, at that time it was winter time so it was quite dreadful and the poor Chopin suffered a lot here we have the place so here they took the water from and they were living here so this is the historical place they were living here and here we have the piano Chopin wrote many masterpieces here many of which I will play today at my concert today we have a modern Steinway a nice piano I have already tried it but at that time, of course, Chopin didn't have any Steinway. He had a Pleliel that arrived much, much later because there, was, there were a lot of problems at the customs. And right now, let me play for you one piece that Chopin wrote here, right here in these walls in the winter of 38, 39. The second ballad in F major. Words cannot describe how special it is for me to play here in this place. A few years later, I, I played at the Plus One Dom where Chopin passed away in his last apartment. Maybe you remember the video that I took there. And it was very, very special. And I'm, I'm feeling a similar type of emotions playing here. My recital is going to start in a few hours. We have uh, seats everywhere everywhere in the corridor and I will enter the stage this stage in the corridor from the cell where Chopin used to be and where he composed all these incredible pieces so let me get ready for the concert and I'll see you in a little while
it's the evening time I'm going back to the monastery a very very special time you see the evening is here it's beautiful it's a beautiful summer time so I'm looking forward to my concert and I'm going back to the monastery Behind me you can see the cell where Chopin used to be and I just came out on the terrace to see the view, to enjoy this magical atmosphere. This view is what Chopin was looking at when he was here. It's very beautiful and there is a special kind of smell, probably rosemarine, that is in the air and that is always here and it certainly was back then. So I'm about to start my concert. I, I'm feeling very inspired. This is truly a magical moment for me and I'm sure it will be for the public. So I'll see you after the concert.